Hi guys, this is a midweek video for you guys, hopefully to encourage you. It's based off of what we just talked about this last week, which was instead of being a victim, I will be God's victor. Now I'm giving small little one minute devos throughout the week through Facebook, but this is just for those who are on this, this particular text message that you get. So let's go to the one part that we say this, that I know I am no victim because God works through me. In Romans 8, 37, very famous passage, I'm going to read it to you right now. It says, no, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. And it's a cool verse, but if you think about it in context, which is, go back to verse 35, he says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, danger, or sword? And then he goes, no, not at all. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. So when you look at that word, we brought it up this last Sunday. When you look at that phrase, more than conquerors, it comes from one Greek word, uh, Hooper Nicomon, or Hico, uh, Hooper Nicomen, or Hooper Nicomen, however you want to pronounce it. But basically what it means is that there's an absolute victory. I mean, complete victory. I brought up the 49ers during the sermon, but I'd like to bring up a man named Eric Little. Eric Little uh, was a, a runner for England who qualified in the Olympic tri Olympics in 1924. I know it was a long time ago, but in 1924, he qualified in the 100, 200, and 400, one of the best runners in the world. Well, he knew that the 100 was going to be running the finals on Sunday, and he refused to run on that. He was a devout believer. He said, I'm not going to do it. And so he was already looking at the 400, in which he wasn't like one of the top, you know, five or six in the world, but he had a good time he made in the Olympics, and he was going to run that. Right before the race went on, someone gave him a little card, a little piece of paper that said, in 1 Samuel 2.30, it says, somewhere in the good book, it says that he who honors me I will honor God saying that. And that's in 1 Samuel 2.30. Little was so inspired as a believer that he went out and broke the Olympic and world record at that time of the 400 and won the race. He was a, a man who loved the Lord and he won that race. Later on, he came in third, I think, in the 200 meters. And then later on, he went, became a missionary. He died on the missionary field over in China while he was giving food because he was caught into a camp and he, he was giving food to all the different people in prison and not eating for himself and eventually died of starvation. That man lived a life fully for God, fully victorious with God. And he is in heaven with Jesus and he has won a victorious life. I mean, that big life that he was more than a conqueror, not only to run that race, but run the race of life. So here's my challenge to you and to me. Let's run our race like we're more than conquerors, that we're inspired by God to go out and win whatever race God has for us, that we would go out and do whatever God wants us to do. Now, again, this is only for those watching on this, but if you guys want to share it, please do so. But isn't it awesome to know that we are more than conquerors? And the good book, when we honor God, as it says in 1 Samuel 2.30, he will honor us. So go out and find ways to honor God. Live that victorious life. You are no victim. Not at all. You are a victor in Jesus Christ. Guys, have a great rest of the week. Bye.